morning students today we are going to see exercise 3.1 the second question in this you are going to prepare a bill okay the question is let me read a question prepare a bill for the following books of biographies purchased from marudu bookstore chidambaram where it is it is in chidambaram on 12 4 2018 dear in this bill number is 507 okay they have given the uh, things which has been purchased but we are going to form a bill over here okay so first we should write cash bill this is a cash bill and you should write the name of the shop and where it is and then what is the date where the date is very much important so we have to write the date and then the bill number bill number is most important why because by seeing the bill number we can identify very easy okay then serial number subramanya bharatiya the books how many quantities they have purchased they have purchased the 10 quantities for the rate of 55 rupees each is 55 so 10 into 55 is 550 okay and then second one tiruvalluvar it is 15 how many what is the rate it is 75 rupees so 15 into 75 is 1125 you have to write in terms of rupees as well as the uh, paisa okay and third one is veerama mudivar it is the quantity is 12 and the rate is 60 so 12 into 60 is 720 and the last is tiruvika it is given in the question itself so 12 quantity at the rate of 70 so 12 into 70 is 840 while adding all these things we are getting the 3235 rupees and paise okay paise you have to denote it so this is the cash bill which we are following over here okay ma now we are going to uh, discuss about the cost price selling price profit and loss how to find out okay now we are going to discuss that what is profit and what is loss profit is nothing but sp minus cp okay and loss is nothing but cp minus sp profit means selling price minus cost price always selling price should be uh, more than the cost price and for the loss how it will be cost price will be more than the selling price about the uh, selling price is the when we purchase the item okay cost price is the original value okay suppose if i am purchasing any item and that item i am going to uh, sell to someone else for example suppose the cost uh, cost price of a chair is 100 rupees i purchased the chair for 100 rupees okay now i am going to sell this to someone else to my neighbor for 150 rupees so when i purchase it is only 100 But when I am selling to others, it is one hundred and fifty. So what is the profit here? Fifty rupees profit to me. So profit is equal to S P minus C D, which I have written here. This is the formula. In the same way, if we do go for loss, loss means what will happen here? Actually, S P is more, so we will get profit only. If suppose I purchase C P for hundred, okay, selling price I am just uh, selling for eighty rupees. So then automatically twenty rupees is lost to me. Is it clear? So you could understand what is loss, what is profit. Okay. So we will decide only by seeing the SP and CP only what which is profit and which is loss. Okay. Now, now we are going to do the sums based on this. See, cost price is equal to hundred, selling price is equal to one twenty. When SP is more, automatically it is profit. So profit is equal to SP minus CP, one twenty minus hundred, which is twenty. Okay. Now you have understood, I think so. Now, second question is CP is given, SP is given. By seeing itself, we can tell whether it's a profit or loss. Okay, SP is more automatically profit. So SP minus CP, which is ten. Okay. In the same way, third question is CP is equal to hundred and twenty. Profit is given twenty now. He doesn't give any other values. Now we are going to find out what is SP. Okay. So how to find out? Profit is equal to the formula is SP minus CP. Okay, we know the CP value is there and profit is there. We are going to find out what is SP. So profit place substitute twenty. SP we are going to find out. Cost price is given here one twenty. So write over there. One twenty will come to this side. So twenty plus one twenty is one forty. So SP is equal to one hundred and forty rupees. Is it clear, ma'am? In this way only we have to find out the other sums also in the round table. Okay, then.
வருதா வரலையா சொல்லிட்டு போனவங்களுக்கு இதை பண்ணுமா அப்படின்னா